What's up, YouTube? Did the shorts cover? Did the orders get routed to the exchanges? No. <laughs> the fuck we talking about? All right. So as you could see by now, I'm on the roof. <laughs> um, you know, we, uh, as you know, I got a big, huge Category 5 hurricane coming my way. And, um, you know, I wanted to make this video just to kind of get another rant off. <laughs> Because, um, you know, the world is the world is finding out that we're on our own, um, you know, and I already knew we were on our own. But, you know, most people don't know. They just find out and they realize, damn, I got to work on things by myself. But I want to thank Joseph. I want to thank Guardian, uh, you know, Jake the cat. <laughs> I want to thank him uh, for, you know, donating uh, you know monies to me, you know as you know all know everybody's literally scrambling right now buying up gas They're buying up all the supplies. I'm I literally had to go to the Dollar Tree Just to find like things so I could block the water. So I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show y'all what I'm dealing with right now <laughs> Okay, cuz I know I you're on the roof Phil. What the fuck man get off the roof man Nah, bro Like you got to understand the water's gonna come down and we have to address it head on. So I'm gonna show you something that way you guys can kind of, as you can see, my hands are full filled with caulk and all sorts of stuff. So, so basically why I'm up here is because right here at this corner part right here, the water comes down, comes down, comes down, comes down. And some of you are like, but Phil, I thought you were disabled, bro. I got my J's on. So I have spinal stenosis. Okay, so when I wear these shoes, it helps alleviate my spine and yes i still go through it and i can just pop my hip real quick and then go right back at it sometimes but it still fucking hurts man it hurts like a motherfucker so basically as i said it basically the water comes down like this and then what it does it came right here so as you can see i basically put some caulk right there and i did it all against these lines because that's where all the water was coming in now, of course, this isn't going to be the end all do all, but it'll at least do right until I'm able to, you know, figure it out from there. I mean, it ain't my fault that this house is old. It ain't my fault that whoever, you know, I had to come up here and paint the, the chimney. OK, so I had to do that because that chimney was ridiculous. But what I realized is I need a, a way to catch this water as well. So what I found is I got this uh, little pan here. And I'm just going to ride on the YouTube here and just kind of just slide this bad boy under here. Now, mind you, it has worked. And all I do is this. Boom. While the hole is plugged in with the caulk, the caulk is going to dry up. And that's going to be my first line of defense because I deal with a lot of flooding near my office where, you know, I go live and all that good stuff there. So that's what I'm doing right there. Just kind of putting that there and for all the ones now mind you for those who donated to me this is what i've been doing I've, I've had to go to the dollar tree to go find some items i can't find duct tape so i'm gonna probably try to find some duct tape and then be able to like really make effect somewhere um and to keep this steady because it's up here i'm gonna add this big old weight right here 20 pounds and remember the water is going to come down here like this the water comes down like this boom and it's going to just kind of end up right there and then as it kind of gets out it's going to just basically ooze out all right so that's basically what that is <clears throat> now roll with me roll with me <laughs> the video's not over yet roll with me i got a now, some of you are probably thinking, damn, bro, you got all this stuff in your yard. What the hell is this going on? Well, hold on, man. Let me explain. Let's go ahead and throw some of that down there. Ugh. That's right, people. You're seeing it live. You know, Hurricane Milton survivors or, you know, fighters, if you will. <laughs> so that's what I'm dealing with right now. And I'm just going to come on down. Ugh. All right. Coming down my ladder. Okay, now let me explain why I have the things I have here. All right, so the reason why I have these here is because I get a lot of flooding right here. 
this is going to be my first line of defense right here catch the water before it gets out over here now as it's raining right here this is the other line of defense which is the dirt okay the dirt's going to catch boom and build up a pond possibly boom and then when the water leaks out boom here goes another line of defense right here which is a mattress and this right here which is held by a weight all right also i know it's kind of like it's kind of like living it at home alone with macaulay culkin as a floridian it's the strangest thing i know so this is what i'm dealing with now mind you some of this is going to get cleaned up i'm gonna clean it up of course but also um right here i get a lot of flooding right here as you can see right so what i've done is uh, i'm gonna push this up against boom now the reason why i'm doing this is because the flooding hits underneath here and it gets really bad right so when it gets really bad i wanted to hit this first as you can see the rain droplets and then it will hit this and then it will hit this and then it will hit that you understand what i'm saying so that's what i did with that now the final thing that i did all right is i built somewhat of a trench now check me out you see these weights up here they are going to be holding it down while it storms and this slide right here that i've used because the kids broke the you know sometimes when you let other people live with you they, they they kids tend to break stuff but basically they broke it and i'm using it to my advantage so as you can see the water is going to come down like this Doo -doo 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 -doo. right into this trench right here which is held on by weights because the weights are, are not leaving they are very thick and are very heavy and then as you can see with your own eyes i got a trench i dug a trench going right outside right outside the house yeah oh yeah so these are things that i'm doing to prevent a flood in my house um you know so this is what it's like living in florida some of you are like but phil they're saying on the news that you know it's an evacuate you should evacuate and blah 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 i live inland so most likely i'm going to be dealing with flooding often now i want to address this before i go um as you know, uh, Citadel Securities is not routing orders of AMC. And I do see some individual that is basically, you know, kind of like, oh, everybody's talking about it. Yeah, everybody's talking about it. Uh, and my thing is you definitely want to make people aware, no matter who it comes from. And I can, I'm, I'm gonna just say this, even a snake eats rats, okay? That's my rebuttal to you, respectfully, because even though this information is coming from a snake, I understand that snakes also eat rats, okay? So just be aware of that. Nobody needs to, you know, hoopla. You know, when you're getting out information like this, like specific information, I get it, you know, the community, it, on, only the community would know something like this, but at the same time, you want to make others aware that don't know who it came from or don't know what's what, you know what I mean? And, you know, if the time needs to be said, like, hey, who, who did it come from? Then that will matter. But at the end of the day, it's all about awareness of some some market maker that's not doing their fucking job or some hedge fund that's not doing what they're supposed to do so that's what this is all about is awareness it's not about who it comes from or where who's doing what i don't care who's relating the message make these motherfuckers pay that's what the message should be bring back price discovery for amc that's what this is all about so you wonder my thoughts on those things that's my thoughts on it so with that being said people i'm gonna clean up in this area and then i'm just gonna you know use some of these funds that people are donating to me to you know get more things to keep my house protected because you know we can't even go and get no hotels you know my family was gonna leave and and try to make that work but they're realizing damn everybody booked all the hotels everybody basically got everything so 
in the in the in the words of Josh Harnett, we're trapped. We're trapped. Ah! Nah, don't worry about it, y'all. I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna fight through this, and nothing's gonna shake me. Nothing's gonna shake me. Doesn't matter who says what. I'm doing all I can to protect the family. Cause I know this is gonna be a crazy ass storm and that's what it's gonna be. So you see everybody's been honking horns and fight like everybody in Florida is going nuts right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? They trying to get to the gas. They trying to get to the traffic. You know, get through the traffic. Everybody's fighting. Everybody's trying to buy this and buy that. So I think one thing I'm gonna do is uh, head to Walmart and try to find some charcoal in case I need to grill something you know maybe you know because my power is probably going to be out for some days or whatnot and um you know i'm just going to thug it out man thug it out because i'm a florida man i'm a florida man i'm the real florida man you know what i mean and i want to make a, another quick rant to plies hey plies again i'm talking to you plies when trump wins the election you had your belt i'm gonna have my belt just know that bro just know that bro because you know the press secretary and the journalists are loving to lie on tv in front of everybody's face there's this one specific journalist that lies often and i forget her name but basically she was talking to the republican tom cotton basically saying um do you want to talk about you know how everyone is saying that fema used the money on migrants and that simply is not true Oh, so it's just simply not true? I thought you was a journalist. Meanwhile, press secretary back in 2022 said, hey, FEMA's gonna use funds that were approved by Congress to pay for migrants under humanitarian aid. I thought you was a journalist. Oh, you're biased. Oh, you're finessing. Oh, you're paid by a Democrat to go out here and say some dumb shit. Meanwhile, everybody's like, man, look, we're going to have to fend for our fucking selves, bro. Like, that's what it's down to. So, I just want to make y'all aware that's the reason why FEMA doesn't have enough money. Matter of fact, I just had an interview working from home with FEMA. The job only lasts 30 to 60 days. They don't have no fucking money. I'm letting you know now. But it is what it is. I'll take that shit. I'll talk to these people. But fuck, fuck these motherfuckers. Anyways. <laughs> Yo, shout out to all the real apes, all the real due diligence folk out there i see you i appreciate the information even if it's coming from a snake cool i'll utilize it we'll spread the message but you're still a snake it is it is what it is in my opinion even snakes eat rats so just remember that peace